we're going to look at a couple of things to help you with level three of multiplication and division in the two minute tango. In this level, you look at how you can use uh, what you know about multiplying by 10 to easily get to the answer of multiplying by 9, 11 or 12. And um, so we're going to look at that. And we're also going to have a look at how those number sentences get written. So let's start with this picture. What we've got here is 10 bags and in each bag we've got 23 sweets. So what we've got is 10 bags of 23 sweets. How many sweets will we have then? Well, we'll have 10 lots of 23, which is 230. Now imagine we take one of those bags away. So we're taking away one bag of 23 sweets, which we can write like that. We're taking away one lot of 23 sweets. And so we're taking away 23 sweets. What will we, we be left with? Well, we've obviously left with nine bags of 23 sweets, which is nine lots of 23. And how many is that? Well, you've got 230, you've taken away 23 sweets. So 230 minus 20 gets us to 210, minus three gets us to 207. And so that tells us that nine lots of 23 is 207. So an easy way to get nine times something is simply to say 10 times that thing minus that thing. Okay. Now, in that two minute tango, the way in which this is asked is sometimes they leave out different bits of these sentences. So look at that middle row. Imagine they had put the question mark there. How do you know what to put in there? Well, you need to read the sentence. The sentence is 10 lots of 23. In other words, 10 bags of 23 minus one lot of 23, one bag of 23 is equal to how many lots of 23? How many bags of 23 is left? Well, they're asking you how many bags are left. The answer there is obviously going to be nine. But if they put the question mark like that over the whole thing, what they're saying is if you've got 10 bags of 23, how much must you take off in order to be left with nine bags of 23? Well, you're going to have to take off one bag of 23. One bag of 23 sweets is 23 sweets. So in other words, you're taking away the number 23 to get to your answer. So each time you just need to be careful whether they're asking you about bags or sweets. Let's have a look at another example. Again, we're going to start off with our 10 bags of 23 sweets, which is 10 times 23, which is 230. In this case, we're going to add on two more bags of 23 sweets. So we are adding on two lots of 23. In other words, if we look at how many that is, two lots of 23 is just double 23, which is 46. So we're adding on 46. What do we get in total? Well, we get 12 bags of 23 sweets, which can be written as 12 times 23. And that's very easy. 230 plus 46, 230 plus 40, 270 plus 6, 276. So this tells us that 12 times 23 is 276. The easy way to get it is to say 10 lots of 23, 230, plus two more lots of 23, in other words, double 23, 46, 230 plus 46, 276. That gives you your answer for 12 times 23. In the tango, you're going to be asked to fill in various bits of this equation. So we just need to be aware of what they're asking. If the question mark was there, what they're saying to you is, read that sentence. 10 lots of 23 plus two more lots of 23 is equal to how many lots of 23? The answer there is obviously 12. But if they put the question mark there, what they're saying is, if you've got 10 lots of 23, and what must you add to it to get 12 lots of 23? Well, you've got to add two lots of 23, and two lots of 23 is 46. And so what has to go in there is 46. So again, just being careful each time as to whether they're really asking you about how many bags or how many sweets. And how does this help you with your times table? Well, what we've just seen is nine times table is very easy. You just say, if you want nine times something, it's 10 times something minus that thing. So nine times eight 
is 10 times 8 minus 8. And 9 times 6 is going to be 10 times 6 minus 6. And 9 times 37 is 10 times 37 minus 37. And in a similar way, 12 times 8 is just going to be 10 times 8 plus double 8. So 10 times 8 plus double 8, and you get your answer. And 11 is even easier because it's, if you've got 11 times something, 11 times 13, it's 10 times 13 plus 13 to get your answer.